As they sang, the hobbit felt the love of beautiful things made by hands and by cunning and by magic moving through him. A fierce and a jealous love, the desire of the hearts of the dwarves. Then something Tukish woke up inside him, and he wished to go and see the great mountains, and hear the pine trees and waterfalls, and explore the caves, and wear a sword instead of a walking stick. He looked out the window, and the stars were out in a dark sky above the trees. He thought of the jewels of the dwarves shining in dark caverns. Suddenly, in the wood beyond the water, a flame leapt up, probably somebody lighting a wood fire, as he thought of plundering dragons settling on his quiet hill and kindling it all to flames. He shuddered, and very quickly he was playing Mr. Baggins of Bag End, Underhill, again.